came out to water the llama and this little baby quail was drowning in the water trough. She just looks really exhausted and tired. I put her immediately in the shade. I mean, she looked near death when I pulled her out. I am so glad I came out when I did. Um, I'm gonna put her in a little outside flight cage for the day and monitor her. And hopefully once she gets her strength back, by this evening I can release her. Um, I'm gonna move the cage near where I found her drowning because um, her family should be out there somewhere. Oh, baby's coming over to, to, to check. Check the little quail out. So is everyone, starfish and llama? Okay. Let's get you. Mm, you're very tired, I mean, she's not moving on her own. Uh, So I've got her in the flight cage and I put it, she was found drowning in this bucket. So I've put it very close to it in the shade under this tree. So hopefully the male can find her um, and we'll let her rest because she's so exhausted. A lot of foliage and a shade for her. And this cage was actually donated uh, by someone last year, so thank you. It was good to have it on hand. And I'm just hoping that the male comes back. She's too weak to call out for him now, but hopefully that will change throughout the day. I can, let me, I'll, I'll attempt a quail call to see if I can direct him over. Otherwise, I'm just gonna leave her alone for the day and um, either release her this evening or in the morning or uh, as soon as she seems stronger. Do you hear that? That's the male. He's somewhere far off in the bushes to the right here. Um, I'm gonna move away because I'm not a quail and I don't want her to feel uncomfortable and for her not to call. I want him to come in and come close to her and know where she is so that when she's not exhausted, I can let her go. So if I let her go now and she's so weak, uh, she could either die from sun poisoning, heat exhaustion, or uh, a hawk is going to pick her off. So let's uh, move away. So I came back this evening to check on the quail to see if she was strong enough to be released this evening. And look what I found. The door must have blown open due to the wind, and she is not in here. This is a very good thing. That means she was strong enough to leave on her own. In a wildlife rehab, we would call this a soft release, but she did leave something behind. She left an egg. I don't know if it's fertilized. Oh, look. It's cracked. No, it was not fertilized. It's very good. I'll take this inside and I'll give it as a snack uh, for Shadow. My raven, she'll love this. What are you doing? You can't go in there. Or can you?
That is a look of determination if I ever saw it. All right, let's go say hi to the buff really quick. And I'm really, really happy to see this. Uh, she looked really bad. I mean, I think if I didn't find her within the next couple minutes that she definitely would have died of exhaustion and, and, and drowned. Buffalo confirmed, still beautiful. And look, he's standing and look, he's walking. Can you say hi? Mm. Mm, starfish came to say hi too. And little goat. Everyone says hi. Even the dog of Argentino, the new guy in the background saying hi. Saying hi, I can't come over here. I can't. I can't. Okay. Well, thank you for watching as always. My lord, listen to that bark. What do you think about that starfish? Exactly. Hey Shadow. Shadow, I have something for you. Shadow, I have something for you. Quail egg. Read it.